how do you feel when idiots interfere in your business? I feel bad, sir. Then say your last prayer, sir. Please, oblige me a second chance. That is the thing! There is no second chance! <laughs> By every standard, what I am asking is stupid. But I consider so many factors before I took the decision. What I am asking is hard, I know. You are my wife. You must understand me. Understand what, my darling? We are not poor. We are managing. All I want you to do is to stay and have this experience with me because I have none. Honey, heaven knows I love you so much. I would love to stay. But we have this opportunity of raking in about 760,000 US dollars. All I need to do is just to appear there. This opportunity is going to take us out of poverty in our lives. Honey, I have arranged the doctor to take care of you even when I am not there. See, all I need from you is just to pray and bless me and let me go. I love you with everything in me. This is our first issue. All I want you to do is to stay and have this experience with me. Is that too much for me to ask for? Please. Chief, sir, it's only 2.30 a.m. We can't leave now. It's very risky. Tori, we have a new development. What development, sir? It's the trip cancelled? Yes. The trip is cancelled for you. I don't understand, sir. Um, you have to stay behind and attend to my wife. What will I do for her? I have not slept all night. My wife wants me to accompany her to the labor room. I would love to do that because I love her so much. See, does this business I am pursuing. Sorry. You have to stay behind and take care of my wife. When the labor comes, please call Dr. Lugard. He knows what to do. Sir, your wish has always been my command. I will stay back and do my best, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, I just want to know why this abrupt meeting was about that. Gentlemen, listen. This man called Sam Oji is one poverty stricken papa of an indigent, whatever you want to call him. But you see, the most important thing here is that. 760,000 US dollars is up for grabs. And you know me, I have no apologies to anybody. I want that money. So I don't care how you do it. All right? The most important thing we want to do here is to be sure that tomorrow the best news we get is that this fellow is late. Gentlemen, I don't want any mistakes. No mistakes. Come on, speak. What 
Where is Osman? Are you guys listen carefully? I have just received a call. Mr. Oji's car is still parked in his compound. It means he's right inside it. I want you guys to leave immediately and dispose of him. I don't want any mistakes. No mistakes. Go now. Come on, back it! Speaking, 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 no? Hey! 
Hey! Boss! Ow, oh, Jesus! Hey! Where is your boss? He! Where is he? Let me fetch him, boss! No! Boss! Boss! Ow! Hey! 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 God, the apple! Where is he? Boss! He! Ow! Don't tell me. I know you didn't get him. I've received another call that the man was sighted driving into Ozone Hotel. So you go there, trace him, finish him off. No mistakes, gentlemen. Go now. I am an SS official and I can authoritatively tell you that Mr. Sam Oji is in this hotel. We came to see him. Do you know his room number? Do you think if I knew his room number, I'll come to you? Check your records. All right, then. Hold on. Here. He checked in here this morning, but presently he's not in his room. What is his room number? Room 302. 302. Now, don't you tell anybody that an SS official was here to see him, got it? Yes, sir. Now, if you open up to anybody, even to your supervisors, I will make sure that the hierarchy of the SS shuts this place down because of security reasons, which invariably means that you will lose your job. Have I made myself clear? who are ballads will remain ballads forever. They will never ever get smart. How do you mean? See the way I deceived that receptionist. I can bet you that if I gave her a Bible right now to swear that an SSS official came around, ha, she would swear. I mean, boy, am I smart or what? <sighs> that. Ferdinand, you have spent the better part of this afternoon praising yourself. That. It's pure madness. Are you trying to tell me that I was a fluke? Not exactly. The reason we drove 200 kilometers an hour to come to this town is to waste some much. We've not seen the man, not to talk of killing him. And here you are praising yourself. Put your hands together, man. Ever. Ever! Hey guys, stop this. Stop, stop, stop this! Stop! Get your hands up. You deceived a common receptionist and it's getting into your head. 
Ordinary secondary school boys do that. They deceive big girls, take them to bed, and swindle them of their money. Some go as far as deceiving their teachers and their principals. And you are getting all excited. Let's get out of this place and do our job. Gary, now I'm going to leave you guys here. Afternoon. Is anything the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? Mm, nothing, sir. Please forgive my bad manners. Everything is fine. Let me have my room key. Yes.
Excuse me. Can I help you? The guest in room 302 ordered for rice. I personally saw him moving into his room. But now I've gone there with the rice. I've been knocking since. He's not responding. All right, hold on a minute. No answer. Hold on, let me call the security. Hello? Please, go to room 302 and check why the guest is not picking his calls. He has this minute. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, then. I'm not very well. Sure. I'm not going to do it. It's not my job. your restaurant and ask you to give him rice. Yes, sir. I put it to you that you poisoned this man. No, no, sir. Look, 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 look at the rice. The rice is, is still there, sir. The rice is still there? Yes, sir. Can you tell me how many people came with him when he asked you to give him rice? Sir, he, 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 he came alone, sir. He came alone. Now, when you came in with the rice eventually, how many times did you knock on this door? Before you want to call this one, the security, how many times? Sir, I came in, I knocked and knocked and knocked. No response. Then I went to call the security man. Exactly, sir. Shut up, my friend. Were you there when she was knocking? Why are you opening your very cost mandibles to respond? Thank you, sir. Now you, with your long experience as a hotel servant, can you tell me? The reason why this man is lying dead in your hotel room? Sir, sir I, 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 I didn't know. I can't tell, sir. I can't tell. I don't know. You can't tell? Yes, sir. I'll get back to you anyway. Inspector. Sir. So, get an ambulance. Sir. So, you, you go with him. Okay, Move this guy. What of you? Move. Yes, sir. Slip. Receptionist. Yes, sir. Did you see the identity card of this SSS officer that came here to ask you questions? No, sir. He just flashed it, and then he put it back into his pocket immediately. I saw nothing, sir. He flashed it? Then you saw nothing? Yes, sir. And you acted? You acted? Now, if you see this officer, so-called, anywhere, can you describe him? Very well, sir. I can. We are listening. Go ahead. He's, he's tall and huge. Dark in complexion. He was putting on a red shirt and a black overall. And maybe very sexy, sir. I beg your pardon? I can't believe this. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Are you telling me that you are such a decrepit? Such an unoriginal asshole or something? Wait a minute. A killer is sexy to you? Is this why you pick a job in a hotel? For you to sit here as a receptionist and you're looking at men as they enter. 
for those that will begin to wet your very miserable ties? Oh my goodness. Are you such a nympho? No, sir. I'm very sorry. I'm only describing the man that came to me. You are describing the man that came? Yes, sir. Can you look into my face and you tell me that you didn't make passes at him? No. For him to begin to wet your ties the more? No, sir. You didn't? Yes. You are supposed to be the chief security officer of this hotel. Yes, sir. Your men that I met there at the gate told me that at the point of the murder, they saw a white Corolla drove into this hotel. Now, can you give me the registration number of this Corolla? Yes, sir. Sir, I have it here. I have it. Yes, sir. Uh, DB419, sir. I guess it's any good number, sir. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. DB419, any good number? Are you living on Earth or did you just fly in from somewhere? From Pluto, from Mars, or from somewhere? I'm in Nigeria, sir. You are a Nigerian? And you live in Nigeria. Yes, and a car that has a registration number 419 drove into the hotel where you are the chief security officer and you allow that car to operate freely? But sir, I, I never thought of that. You never thought of that? Do you know why? Look into my face. You are an idiot. Thank you, sir. Of course I know. I'm happy you know you are an idiot. I'll come for you. I'll come back for you. Officer, yes, sir. arrest this woman. Yes, sir. Ah, officer, I know nothing. No. Believe you me. shut up, you very miserable mandibles. Move on your own, you very miserable lowest. Move the lowest or you move the force. Are you going to move? Yes, sir. Move! Move it. I am not going to arrest you because I wouldn't want to create an interrogatory in your hotel. You are the chief security officer, yeah. I wouldn't want to leave here without security, but I'm coming back for you. Thank you, sir. An idiot. Thank you, sir. What did you say? Thank you, sir. You are an idiot, you Wally. Yes, sir. Fundamental idiot. So, okay, I don't know why you're letting hell break loose, okay, but Mr. Oji is dead and you don't seem happy about it. Ferdinand, I have not called you here to discuss Mr. Sam Oji. I have called you here just to, to tell you how lousy you have been. I don't understand what you mean by lousy, sir. No, you don't understand. You can check the news stations. Each one of them is saying that Mr. Oji was murdered by unidentified men. Ferdinand, I have just received a call from the licensing office. And do you know what that call was about? The police are already investigating they're asking questions about the car with which you carried out that operation. I want to know why you would embark on an operation with a car with fixed plate numbers. Sir, I can assure you that nobody saw us. It was a complete underground operation. No one saw us. Ferdinand, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. I have this feeling that you are underrating the police at Awada. You know what you're going to do now? You go get the boys ready because we're leaving town now. Now? Now! I mean now! Get up! Get the boys ready, we're leaving now! What I mean? 
we found out. Sir, we have traced the car that was used for the operation to the Central Assassin Office. Who is the owner of the car? The car belongs to one Mr. Kimbala Somaliwe. He lives in the city of Hope. If this is the outcome of your investigation, why haven't you gone down to the city of Hope to arrest this said Mr. Kimbalos? That's exactly what we did, sir. Oh, so you are telling me that we have a suspect in the custody? Not exactly, sir. Sir, as soon as we got the name and the address of the owner of the car from the Central Assassin Office, we moved down to the city of Hope to arrest the people that are in the compound because we believe that we can start something from there. But unfortunately, sir, when we got there, there was nobody in the house. The house was simply deserted. How do you mean? Do you know that the wife of the man that was murdered died on hearing the news? And you are sitting down here, haven't even made any arrest? Sir, we are doing everything possible to ensure that we arrest only those that are connected to this murder. As you know, sir, we are now rebranding the image of the police. And gone are the days when we jump into the street after any murder incident and we are arresting people indiscriminately. Now we are required to arrest only those that are actually connected to the crime. And that's what we are doing. My boys are keeping surveillance in the compound in the city of Hope. And I can assure you that very soon we are going to make arrests. This case is very emotional. Wake up. Do something like a good policeman. Make some arrest. Okay, sir. But you can count on me that I am equal to this. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry, sir. Sir, I'm going to take my leave now. Sure, sir. Now, Tare, you answer me. If you see those men anywhere, would you be able to recognize them? Perfectly well, sir. They were still the same people who killed my boss. And I don't know what they want. You say they were carrying guns. Yes, sir. Can you say they were robbers? Hmm. Sir, those people are not robbers. Yet, I'm very, very sure of that. Because, you see, the 100,000 Naira my mother asked me to come and get from the house was not hidden. And I'm very, very sure they sought that money. You see, they didn't steal anything. Yes. They are not robbers. They didn't steal anything. Yes. Now, you said uh, they beat you up. Yes, sir. Can you look me in the eye and tell me that these wearing your friends that just came to beat you up? Officer, uh -uh. why will you say a thing like this? Look at my body. Yeah? I'm still going through the pains of the beating and I don't know them. Now, can you describe the car they came with? Car? They didn't come with any car. Yes. They didn't come with any car? Yes. Now, you are the person who had the keys to this compound. Tell me. How did they gain access into this compound? Okay, fine, sir. On my way from the hospital, I came back. I had the key with me. I opened the gate. What I saw was this huge man carrying these long, long guns. And before I could know what was happening, I was on the floor. They started beating me, asking me all sorts of questions. Now, let me ask you this last question. Can you remember anyone who had any scores to settle with your boss? Sir, my boss has no problem with anybody. My boss was a very nice man. Yes, you see, sir, my boss was owing me for five months. Five good months he has not paid me. And I'm not complaining. I'm still okay. So, but this hoodlum just came, ended everything. I mean, you will feel very bad. I wish you were here and see what happened. Madam Bank Manager, 
Have you heard about the death of Mr. Sam Oji? Yes, I heard about it. You heard about it? Yes. Now, did you hear equally that his wife, who got delivered of a baby girl, died when she heard about the news of her husband? Yes, officer. I heard about it. It was all in the papers. All in the papers? Yeah. You know, I'm impressed. Now, are you aware that Mr. Kimbalos Omeligwe, the same man you call Sake, here in the city of Hope, is actually the very suspect that killed Mr. Samoji? Are you aware? Mr. Officer, it was in the news that unidentified men killed Sam Oji. It was never reported that my customer, Sake, killed him. You can't be emphatic that Sake actually killed the man. You can't. I can't be emphatic? Yes, you can't. Madam Bank Manager, I am sorry, but you are giving me this very unacceptable impression that you have something to hide. And I am not comfortable with that impression, I must have to tell you. I'm so sorry, officer. But you have said nothing that suggests explicitly that my customer, Sake, killed the man. You know, I think I have to correct an impression here. Because I am beginning to feel that you think I came here to ask you to give me Sake's money. I have not come here to ask for his money. I am an officer, and you know why I came here. I want you to give me the passport photograph he gave you when you opened that account for him. Because you cannot tell me he didn't give you a passport. I want to look on the photograph and see how that idiot looks like. Now, if you're not able to give me this information that I seek, I am going to manacle you off this place. Not only that, I am going to charge you for criminal connivance. Now, are you ready to cooperate with the officer? Are you serious? More than serious. Officer, you can't do this. Please. I'll give you whatever you want. Please. Please. Just hold on. Please tell Joyce to come into my office immediately. I need her right now. Please. I beg of you, please sit down. Sir, the Mr. Kimbalos Omeligwe that I mentioned yesterday, we found out eventually that in City of Hope, they call him Sake. And he is a man of very questionable character. We gathered that he has a network of boys that he keeps that are working on that. And we are seriously suspecting that they were the same people that masterminded the murder. Now I have a rough idea of how the said Mr. Kimbalos looks like. Because one document I picked up from his house when we read it yesterday suggested he has a bank account in Climbers Bank. And we have gone to Climbers Bank to retrieve his picture from their database. We are now looking out for him. But of importance, sir, is the news that just came in, the report that just came in. $760,000 that was approved for Mr. Sam Oj, the late Mr. Sam Oj just got diverted and I am now monitoring the account in Climbers Bank to see if there, there will be any financial movement. These are part of the things we just achieved and I came to keep you posted, sir. Good. Whatever you consider vital must be pursued. Okay, sir. A lot of people are interested in this case, especially the public. They want to know how we are handling it. You did mention yesterday about police street branding. Be a good policeman and do the right thing. You understand? Okay, sir. You can count on me. We're doing everything within our powers to mask those behind the murder. And I'm not going to let you down, sir. Good. Have to take my leave. Sure, sir. <sighs> My dear, the initial name we gave you at the hospital was Lenora. But you see, when the police failed to unmask your father's killers after two years, my bishop then, 
who was also from the east, like your father, change your name to Rapuluchuku, which means we should leave everything to God. I later registered you in school as Sandy. But why would you kill my father? Why? Somebody should better tell me I am dreaming. You're not dreaming, Nelson. As you can see, you are in a business meeting. Oh, you guys are telling me I lost $1 million just because I delayed for 30 minutes. I mean, this delay wasn't my fault. Armed bandits blocked the road for about an hour. I had to wait for these people to finish with the operation. Now I am here. You're telling me I've lost $1 million? What's going on here? Come on, you guys must be kidding. Nelson, nobody is kidding here. Okay? We are real businessmen. And you, of all people, should know that time waits for nobody. I mean, if you're late, it simply means you've lost out on a deal. Saki, when you were sick, I covered up for you. I got your money, I gave it to you. Why can't you do the same? I mean, in your own case, you never showed up. Still, I got your money, I wired it into your account. I delayed for about 30 minutes and I lost one million dollars. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, come on, Nelson. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Why are you beating about the bush, Nelson? Look here. I am a professional. You are not. Okay? You covered up for me. Okay? You paid my money into my account. Okay. Thank you very much for that. But you see, I don't do this shit. If you were not there, and you were not there. Sorry. Okay, no problems. Uh, I lost my profit. What about my investment of seven hundred thousand dollars? Nelson, why are you asking for the impossible? You have lost everything. What did you say? You heard him clearly, Nelson. You have lost everything. You are telling me I lost my profit. I lost my investment. Is that what you're telling me? You all will regret this. I will tell you, you met me in Kebuten, and I'm still the prince of Kebuten. <laughs> well, there goes Nelson. 
Gentlemen, may I announce that we are one million dollars richer. Drinks, please. Drinks, drinks. That is good. <laughs> that is good, man. <laughs> Nobody messes around.
Hello, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Did anybody come looking for me? Yes, sir. Some girls came looking for you. One Jessica, one Monica, one Rebecca, and one... That's okay. Uh, did they come one after the other or they came at once? No, they came separately, sir. In fact, the last one just left. Okay, you know, if they come back, just tell them I lost a huge amount of money and I'm not in a good mood right now. I need a rest, okay? I need a break. Okay. All right? Let me have, sorry, sir. Oh, no problem. Let me have my keys. Okay, sir. Thank you. believe this that woman is an angel i have never not even for one second thought that she's not my real mother not not even for once you know so your real surname is oji and not sunny that is what i just found out so are you going to change it because all your certificates bear Sandy, Sunny, and not Oji. How do you go about it? Oh, that is not my headache for now. When I'm married, I will change my son's name to my husband's name directly. I'm just confused on why they will kill my father just because of money. You know, I, I, can't, I can't figure it out. I'm sorry, Sandy, but this whole thing is still surprising. I mean, that woman was kinder to you than my own mother, who I know was to me. She is an angel. She had always refused me to mix up with others. Now I know why. Then I was wondering why won't she allow me to mix up with others. I think she's trying to ensure that busybodies don't come near me and tell me what will kill my heart. She's... She's... Uh, She's, she's kind. I can't forget her. <sighs> oh, Amanda. You know, the only problem you have in this your area is constant power failure. Please, you have to bail me. Nelson mentioned it anyway, so I'm not surprised. Who is Nelson? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that. Uh, Nelson is the guy that brought me back to Cable 10. He's so nice, kind-hearted, and he even gave me 50,000 Naira. 50,000 Naira? Yeah. For what? I don't know. Look, Amanda, he even suggested that we should come to his hotel room and take some wine. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. No, take okay. Call him. Call what him. do you mean? Call him now. I, uh, for what? Why am I calling him? Call him. Let's go and spend some time. What's there? Catch fun. Amanda. We can go anywhere else. I can't go to a hotel. Amanda, yeah. you're my friend. Mm -hmm. Look, mom told me that decent girls don't hang out in hotels. Mm -hmm. If we go there now, people will start seeing us as call girls. Even the man in question will think that we are busy buddies. So I, I can't go. Babe, see, that guy that gave you 50,000 naira will be glad if you give him a call. Take Oh no, I'm not calling him.
Yeah. I'm Nelson, the Prince of Kebuten. And my name is Sandy. I promise to call, remember? Oh, Sandy. How are you? I'm um, fine, thank you. Uh, Nelson, mm, my friend is coming up with the idea that we should come to your hotel and spend a couple of time. Is that okay? Oh, that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be lovely. I'm waiting. Okay, uh, we'll be with you shortly. Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> Sandy. Yes! Are you happy now? Of course I'm happy. Ah. Let's go. You are down, sir? Yeah. The girl Jessica came back and I dismiss her like you said. Oh, beautiful. If she comes back, dismiss her again, okay? No problem, sir. All right. Uh, you know the reason why I came down here instead of calling you on the intercom? Mm, no. Um, I'm expecting a girl. Okay, her name is Sandy. She's going to be coming with her friend. If they come, just allow them to come see me. Okay. All right. Uh, let me give you something for well-executed dismissal, okay? All right, you have this. Come in, come in. I'm here to freshen up your Are you mad? Are you alright? Can't you perceive it? My friend, this room is fresh enough. Get out! Sorry, Get sir. out! And don't come to the of this door again. Come in. This is one old man. This is one man. One sweet girl. <laughs> Correct girl. <laughs> Arrange them for you, man. So anyway, sit down, uh, yeah. Amanda, meet Kelvin. Kelvin, meet uh, Amanda. Baby, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Kevo stick, you know they change. <laughs> come on, come on, yeah. That's all, Baba. Hey, Chris. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Where did you bring that girl from? Man, that baby is just too exceptional. Man, I arranged this girl for you. You know, our friend is waiting for me in the hotel suite. Honestly. <laughs> oh, you mean she has a friend? She has a friend. I picked her along the road while I was returning from one lousy business meeting where I was defrauded of one million dollars. Can you imagine? Nelson, you were duped. <sighs> Man, you can use that word. Honestly. Sake. Can you imagine that old fool? Sake and his boys actually defrauded me. Can you imagine? God damn it. Anyway, I've forgotten about that. You understand me? You understand? Man, let me let me let me just leave Amanda with you for the moment. <laughs> no, sir, wait, 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 wait. You brought Amanda for me. What do you want me to do here? Listen, I want to have the whole night to myself. You know I would do it now. You know, man, I want today to just be a different day entirely. Let today be a different day entirely. You understand? There's this girl I saw really once in my hotel suite. It's, I'm so indebted to her, you understand? And uh, you know, come on. Come on let, 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 let me leave Amanda with you now so that we can continue this next time, okay? Come on, let's drink. Boy, You're indebted to someone you just saw. Almost, sit down, look, we we'll drink. Sit down, let's drink. Now, you know how we do. You watch my back, I watch your back. Man. Sit down. Now, sit. Boy. We didn't finish your touches, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'd always known I'm going to hit sake. But I never knew it's going to be this sudden. I just want you to keep sealed lips. Sealed lips, okay? Come here. I'm going to get him. I will track him in a tight corner. And guess what? You strike him dead, and that's the deal. Strike him. Yes, that is what I want. Sake killed my father and destroyed my world. I really need to hit him hard. Very hard. You know what? Revenge tastes better when it is served cold. Okay. I'm going to get him. I will. Just a second, let me get something, okay? Introduced me to the big kinds. What are you talking about? Girl, that guy is rich. Well, uh, Nelson say they call him water because his money is like water, always available. Wow. He said he inherited his wealth from his boss that died and willed all his wealth to him. I'm so excited, girl. For the first time in my life, I am dating a big boy. Mm. <laughs> what is it? Your countenance changed. Are you okay? Amanda, Nelson will help me resolve my father's death. He's going to bring Saki to where I'll kill him slowly. What? Amanda, for four months, four months, I did a sake. He refused to follow me out. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. 
can't wait. Sandy, you have to be very careful. Sake has monopoly over instruments of violence. And the police do not treat him like a criminal. I know, Amanda. You see, Nelson said he's going to get him in the Mafia way. And the Mafia way is the only way you can get such men like Sake. I can't wait. I mean, revenge. Revenge is what I'm after. I have to do with him. You, you just have to be very careful. What is your mission? Ferdinand, you are my mission. Uh, Nelson, if it's about the money you lost, okay? We're all businessmen, we lose money all the time, so just forget about it, all right? Now tell me, the man you guys killed in his hotel room, what was his offense and why did you kill him? What are you talking about? You killed Mr. Sam Oji. Why did you kill him? Listen, I'm going to have my bath right now, okay? I don't know what you're talking about, so I just suggest to leave my house. Fedna, sit down and answer my question. Sit down! Are you ordering me? Wait, are you ordering me to sit down? You know the man I'm talking about. You actually killed him, isn't it? What do you want? Fedna, answer my question fast. What is your problem anyway? The police closed the case a long time ago. So why are you worrying and harassing me? Guy, I'm not kidding. Answer my question. It was Osage who killed him. Okay? He was the one who went upstairs and killed him. You actually invited Osage into this, right? And pushed him to kill the man. And later you killed Osage, right? Sake was the one who sent us. I mean, imagine Mr. Oji having $760,000. What is a poor man like him going to do with it? So we just had to finish him. And you eventually got the money, right? My guy, at this point in time, you're asking too many questions. And you're provoking me just like you provoked Sake. I suggest you leave my house. Next time you steal from a man, just leave him to go and make some more money for himself. You don't kill a man and steal from him. Thing did this. I don't know.
Marcelo. Sir. Who do you think is doing this? I, I don't know. Sir, that guy came looking for you. Which guy? The guy who stole his money. Will you shut up your mouth, Marcelo? And rephrase it. I'm sorry, sir. I mean the guy that lost his money. Good. Are you talking about Nelson? Yes. Nelson. Came looking for me for what? He said nothing. I told him you weren't around and he just left. Is Nelson the one killing my men? I don't know. I'm confused. Down, talk with respect. You shut up. What do you mean by talk with respect? Nelson, are you the one killing my men? Listen, the blood of some orgy will always remain a better blood than all the men in your village. Do you hear me? So Nelson is a virus. You know what we're going to do, Marcelo? We're going to leave town for now. But we'll come back when we have planned our counter-attack. Okay. Nelson is an evil and dangerous guy. But I tell you, nobody messes up with Saki. So Nelson is a virus. Life is the most beautiful thing on earth, and no one can argue that. You see, there are so many men that are living that are not qualified to live. You're sounding so philosophical, and I don't have that time. What do you want me to do? Amanda, Sake is one of the men that are living, but are not qualified to live. You see, you're our hope to make sure we trap Sake down so he could pay for his sins. You want me to kill Sake? You really want me to kill? I'm sorry, Amanda. You don't get it. You don't get it at all. Sake should not be leaving. What we want to do right now is to turn him off. Off! So, what exactly do you want from me? Listen, I have explained everything in this paper to you. Thank you. Sake is a stupid man that calls himself a mafia. He's the one that killed Sandy's father. Study this paper properly, you will understand what you are required to do, and I know you can do it. I know. Tell me, what is the meaning of this? You have brought me to an empty hall. Huh? We're here for business. Uh huh. Are you no longer Saki, the businessman? Sandy. Yes, are. What are you doing with the gun? Nobody's here. Come on. You.
set me up, huh? Yeah. She set me up. You see, I don't see anything wrong in men paying in their coin. Psaki. All right, now listen, listen, guys. Mm. Once a boss, always a boss. We will get that in Psaki. <clears throat> yeah. Come, listen. Let's, let's talk business. You, you put down your guns and we can negotiate. No, just hold it right there. It's all about money. It's okay. Hold it right there. He was so wicked. You killed my father and you made away with his money. Do you think you can run away forever? No, Sake. Hell no! No, listen. Listen. We can always talk about this. We can... We, we can... <laughs> And now rest in perfect peace, Sake. You know what? Revenge is like a meal. And it tastes better when it is served cold. Goodbye. 